Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2023 Kresge College commencement. First, I want I should introduce myself first. I'm Mayanti Fernando. I'm the provost of Kresge College, and I'm really excited to be here with all of you today. First, I want to extend a huge congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. I know it's been a very difficult few years for you, a global pandemic and online classes, a graduate worker strike and more online classes or no classes at all, rainstorms and floods and another round of online classes and cancellations. You have really been through a lot. Throughout it all, you have shown tremendous resilience, courage, hope and grace and an unwavering commitment to your education. I and the faculty and staff at Kresge are so incredibly proud of you. I know your families are also incredibly proud of you. I hope that you can take a moment to simply bask in what an accomplishment it is to walk across this stage given everything you've gone through during your college years. So first, just congratulations. Can we give them a hand again? Since we live amongst the trees and the birds and the animals here at UC Santa Cruz, and since the owl is our mascot, I want to tell three stories drawn from plant and bird and animal worlds that I hope will provide some wisdom to guide you on your way. First, a story about trees. When we look at a cluster of trees in a redwood grove, we tend to see the individual tree standing alone, and we look up, not down. But individual trees are actually connected to each other through their root system. This is how trees communicate and how they care for one another. When a tree is injured, healthy trees surrounding it will send nutrients to the injured tree through their interconnected roots. And by forming a canopy together overhead, each individual tree is protected against storms that might otherwise uproot it. In other words, trees form a community together and each individual tree survives and thrives only through its connection to other trees. In this individualistic world, it is an important lesson to remember that we are interdependent and stronger together. And it's a lesson you already know because you have been part of a community here at UC Santa Cruz. You have survived and thrived by caring for others and letting them care for you. Remember that you will always have this community to root you, even as you find new communities wherever you go. The second story is about birds, and it's from a book by Robin Wall Kimmerer, an indigenous scholar and environmental biologist. She writes that many indigenous traditions share the understanding that each of us, all beings, are endowed with a particular gift, a unique ability. Birds are able to sing, for instance, and stars to shine. And these gifts have a double nature, says Kimmerer. A gift is also a responsibility. If the bird's gift is song, that it has a responsibility to greet the day with music. It is the duty of birds to sing and the rest of us to receive the song as a gift. Each of you standing there has a unique gift, a gift that makes you, you. As you go forward into the world, I want you to ask yourselves, what is my gift and my responsibility to myself, to my community, and to the world? The final story is about elephants and antelope, and ultimately about our responsibilities, our gifts to others. Here's the story. At a game park in South Africa, a conservation team had, herded up a herd, had rounded up a herd of antelope and were holding them in a corral overnight before the antelope would be relocated elsewhere. That night, the conservation team heard a group of elephants approach and surround the antelope enclosure. The conservation team thought that the elephants had come for the antelope's food. Then the elephant matriarch approached the enclosure's gate. She carefully undid each metal latch with her trunk, swung the gate open, and then the elephants stood back and waited until every antelope escaped into the night. And then the elephants left too, having freed the antelope. The elephant matriarch called to respond to what she thinks is a herd of antelope in trouble 
gives the gift of her trunk. She responds to the unfreedom of another with her unique gift, her unique ability, which is also, remember, a responsibility. We can think of responsibility here as responsibility, the ability to respond. Gifted with a trunk, the elephant responds in the way she is uniquely able. Like the birds with their gift of song, like the elephants with their gift of a trunk, each of you has a unique gift, a unique ability, a way that you will respond to a troubled world. And I know that you will use your gift to care for your community, to care for each other. You will use your gift to remake the world into a more just, more free, more equitable place for all. Kresge class of 2023, that will be your gift to us. Congratulations again. So now I wanna introduce one of our student speakers, Pranav Dilip, who is graduating as a major in film and digital media. Pranav? If everyone could flash me a thumbs up so I know that you can hear me okay, that'd be great. I'm seeing plenty of thumbs, that means I'm doing okay. All right. Greetings, friends, peers, families, and graduates. See, the role of a commencement speaker is kind of a tricky one. One must inspire and invigorate others without boring or patronizing them. You want to talk to and with people, not at them. It's also a bit arrogant to assume that I have some great knowledge to bequeath to you all, so I will instead share the ideas that have given me some comfort during my tenure as an undergraduate. But perhaps we all need a little bit of arrogance to take our next steps, but I'll get back to that in a moment. If we compartmentalized our time as undergraduates into one word, it would be challenge. Each graduating class has its own set of challenges. Ours were, shall we say, unique. Reshuffling of our respective majors, numerous strikes for equity and equality, and a global pandemic, a devastating global pandemic, challenges which we all struggled through. Our classrooms became our bedrooms. Our outfits shifted from jeans and jackets to pajama pants and fleece sweaters. Our stress levels climbed while our motivation dropped. And good challenges, bad challenges, we were dealt hand after hand, but poker metaphors aside, look at us now. I'm a film student. This means that everything is viewed through a romanticized lens. Everything from brushing my teeth to grabbing lunch is some kind of grand event complete with soft lighting and music. However, my romanticism is matched by my pragmatism. My business is defined by its people's ambition and zeal. If I don't fight for my future, the wheels stop, lights turn off, record scratch. But this is true for us all because there can be no success without challenge. And despite all of our hurdles, we have passed the gauntlet victorious. I'm also a huge Trekkie. And amidst the techno babble and colorful 80s costuming, there are some philosophical pearls. One such pearl comes from Captain Kirk himself as he convinces his staff of this dangerous mission. You know, he looks around the table, he has that glint in his eyes, and he says, risk, risk is our business. And this has sat with me for a long time, and I'd like for it to sit with you as well. You know, it's a significant thorn in the side when a challenge emerges in life, big or small. Every ounce of personal strength is rallied by the brain to respond to that challenge, and it's draining, it's exhausting, it's brutal. But in this life or the next, we're defined by how we respond to these challenges. Another Star Trek aside, bear with me here. There's an episode of The Next Generation where Captain Picard is given a second chance at life uh, to undo some risks taken in his youth. However, by doing so, he grows up a boring and directionless man, far from his captaincy. As the omnipotent monosyllabic being Q warns Captain Picard, he never seized the opportunities that presented themselves. He learned to play it safe, and he never ever got noticed by anyone. You see, we must be ambitious, full of verve. Our risks must be bold and aplenty, because they will bear everlasting fruit. There will be more obstacles, more barriers, more deterrence. But if we have overcome these personal challenges and are standing here today in our caps and gowns, then does that not mean that we're game for another bout? that we are risk takers day in and day out? It does to me. 
I'd like to return to that arrogance part. There's this storytelling method called the hero's journey. Uh, you've seen it in a dozen movies and characters, right? You know, Luke Skywalker, Neo from The Matrix, Miles Morales. Uh, but my favorite example comes from the Lego movie, as uh, Vitruvius, played by the vocal honey that is Morgan Freeman, says to Emmett, the protagonist, he says, you are the most talented, most interesting, most extraordinary person in the universe, and you are capable of amazing things. You know, this may be from a kid's movie, right? But it holds such truth. If we are to overcome the challenges that life is about to dish out, we are going to need this mentality because it's true. If we are to overcome the challenges that life is about to dish out, we're going to need this mentality because it's true. Nice. Each of you possesses, I said it twice so that it sticks, right? <laughs> Each of you possesses this rare power yourselves. Part of life's battles is overcoming the challenges. The other part is how we do so. Conveniently, this method of uh, individuality is peppered throughout our pop culture. Our Vulcan friend, Mr. Spock, would discuss our collective approach to challenge, like all living things, each according to their gifts. Overcoming adversity is built into each of us. Our genetic code is rife with the tools to tackle obstacles. Kung Fu Panda teaches us that the only secret ingredient one needs to fight is oneself. If we come at every problem from our own unique perspective, then the solutions will come easy. Whether that problem is tonight's dinner or how to nail a job interview, there are two certainties. You will overcome it, and you'll do so in a way that only you can. And I think if you're in possession of such an awesome power, that warrants a little arrogance, a little hubris, don't you? Armed with this, I believe that with all we've done and all we're going to do, I think the future is ours for the taking. Now, live long and prosper. The road goes ever on and on. And congratulations, graduates. A big, hearty congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Pranav. That was a great speech. Can we hear another round of applause for Pranav? And now I want to introduce our second speaker, Brent Insua, who is graduating as a politics major. Brent. <laughs> really nice weather we're having today. <laughs> Dear fellow graduates, faculty, and staff, as I stand here today, I am filled with a whirlwind of emotions. I find myself excited and anxious about the future, yet simultaneously overwhelmed with gratitude for the journey that has led me to this moment. Our undergraduate experience has been marked by challenges, sure, but it has equally been punctuated with moments of perseverance and significant growth. Allow me to take you through some of my own experiences. My first quarter at Kresge was a whirlwind. As a first generation student, the initial shock and awe was overwhelming. I found myself frequently at Kresge Parliament meetings, an involvement that proved to be more beneficial than I ever anticipated. These meetings, which I initially attended out of curiosity, eventually led me to forge friendships that stood the test of time. Perhaps one of my most defining aspects of my undergraduate journey has been my deep involvement in student government. This platform allowed me to represent my peers and advocate for their needs, an experience that has been rewarding as it has been enlightening. As the chair of Kresge Parliament, I laid the groundwork for the Kresge Student Scholarship and allowed it to be based on financial need. As a first generation student, I understood the financial struggles that come with higher education, and I sought to, eat the, I sought to ease this burden for future students. This remains my proudest memory and accomplishment, knowing that it will pave the way for many capable students who may have otherwise struggled to meet the financial demands of their education. But my journey in student government hasn't been a smooth sail. I remember the stinging pain of losing the election for student body president. In that moment, I felt defeated. My dreams crushed. <laughs> However, my mother had ingrained in me an invaluable lesson. Challenges are just hidden opportunities. She taught me about resilience, hard work, 
and the importance of an unyielding spirit. Inspired by her words, I continued my work in student government, more determined than ever to positively impact my community. The loss, while bitter at first, gave me a new perspective on life and career, compelling me to think about the legacy I wanted to leave behind after graduation. I am forever grateful for the companionship I found on this journey. Student government became more than just a team, it became a family. We shared our triumphs, defeats, and every moment in between. We built a support system that saw us through every storm. And I can only hope that during your time at UCSC, you too found similar kinship. As we stand at the precipice of our next chapter in our lives, I urge you all to embody the lessons we've learned throughout our undergraduate journey. Let us continue to persevere, work hard, and support each other as we navigate what lies ahead. In closing, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of those who were a part of my journey. To my fellow students, the faculty, and the staff who have been my pillars of support, thank you. To my mother, who taught me the importance of resilience and perseverance, thank you. To my friends in student government who have become my second family, thank you. It is because of all of you that I am standing here today, ready to take on the next chapter of my life. Thank you. Thank you, Brent. And I just want to take a moment to just recognize the families who are here. I, I know it's been a hard journey for many of you as well. It's been a hard four years. Um, and sometimes a hard two years, just hard college years in these past these past years. And it's, I'm just really honored to be standing here before you and to be looking at your faces. And I can see how how honored you are to be here um, with your students as well. So thank you. And so with that, I want to present to you the Kresge graduating class of 2023. Pranav Dilip. Brent Jordan Inswa.
Nicole Cherie Bullock. Ana Maria Gallegos. Ava Manalo Sullivan. Joshua Stephen Solomon. Mehmet Ngioli. Adit Karnik. Maya Miracle. Anik Kodio. Ryan Nui. Hilda Zarayi Clemente. River Weiss. Sophie Fenn. Dylan Jagielski. Noah Caulfield Brigham. Jacob George Dahl. Isaiah Burke. Ashton Nicole Lehman. Alexis Cecilia Artiles. Elizabeth Stephanie Chung. Gabriel Shepherd. Isabel Voix. Nora.
Sumatra Ostertag. Taj Sherman. Corbin Zane Stewart. Red War Gontier. Ryan Amir Magdavan. Sumina Dahal. Joshua Reese Bozart. Nils Brown. Ronnie Taylor. Adam Furman. Anita Lee Tagazeta. Amalia Nurture Ingham. Miles Gloppa Grossclaw. Ryan Leo. Ryan Nolan. Sahar Sabagyan. Dorsa Haydar Bakhtiari. Yegane Bakhtiari. Rose A. Svankin. Kenny Chow. Grant Averill Gravelisi. Otis Wickenhauser. Ruby Kastner.
Isabella Janae Pereira. Sierra Madison Deathlifson. Jacob Hirsch. Lindsay Nicole Wallace. Leslie Guadalupe Becerra. Keanu Akira Graham. Carissa Ancasa. Beatrice Case. Olivia Brown Wolf. Olivia Maria Hart. Michelle Rothman. Bono Rhythm Kesslidis. Benjamin Felix Joseph. Alexa Martin. Theodore Ho. Eva Gumina. Margarita Costa. Skylar Morgan Watts Palowski. Hex Lee Harvey. Clarice Sophia Seaman. Robert Chang. Melody Guadalupe Bortello Montero. Tori Dakshayani Rascote Chandra.
William Harrison Dean MacDonald. Hannah Vaughn Wig. Nikolai Soltis. Emily Claridge. Leola Sanchez. Kayla Gail Gerber. Vincent J. Olandria. Gavin Provencio. Kevin Sandoval. Daniel Avalos Vega. L.C. Paris Shorter. Eduardo Osorio Juarez. Lillian Selena Amira Nabkel. Rihanna Nova Camarena. Star Mitchell. Ellis Toland Murphy. Lauren Suero. Sabrina Francis. Alex Faustino. Brandy Van London. Mark Angel Garcia Gire. Aaron Matthew Reynolds.
Miguel Sukuki Lopez. Spencer Gray. Charles Greider. Stephen Wade. Zachary Ryan Pagliaro. Agustin Juan Garcia Del Hoyo. Eden Margaret Elizabeth Edwards. Sheridan Ann Wagner. Monique Nikki Salinas. Diego Alejandro Martinez Vital. Rose Osucha. Brendan Sherlow. Nicholas Can Lau. Stella Bonita Vacaron. Sophia Rose Kaya. Max Martin Silverstein. Christian Isley. Adiana Neo Ward. Yeah. 
Gianni Emilio Reynaldo. Yao Ming Hu. Carlos Ocano. Tamara Nairi Muradia. Piper Seriani. Jackson Liam McFetridge. Lipshana Shrestha. Bike see he. Matthew Anthony. Sienna Renee Herman. Harry John Biddleman. Rosie Paul Letterman Beach. Turner Edwards. Robin Robinson. Darlene Hua Mack. Cody Call. Sulema J. Cervantes. Vincent Kaufman. Emiko Oda. Miguel Alfonso Flores Abad. Shannon Denita Chamley. Rachel Kaylani Torcos. Ian Lennon Ellis. David Antonio Manjares.
Sydney Warburton. Chloe Celeste Schilling. Ramola Susan Datta. Caitlin Perkins. James Kane Larvalestia. William Jared Drews. Yvonne Elizabeth Ajwa. Yvonne Elizabeth Ajwa. Alexander Michael Jevanovsky. Caleb Collins. Elisa Jane Mirador Villena. Montana E. Wilson. Aaliyah Isabella Rice. Brandon Fuentes. Amanda Zollers. Nicole Marlena Gramlich. Eva Weinstein. Nicholas Sharp. Alfonso Gabriel Garcia. Nicholas T. Chavez. Donna Kim. Maroni Abinadai Flores. Jinjira Charo and Racharu. Griffin Riley Culkin.
Jonathan Kiros. Alicia Maria Dean. Nomita Samsani. Paul Sims. Chris Angel Cedillo. Jake Elliott. Darian Adolfo Barrera. Ivy Doe. Mia Marie Morangel. Terrence Joaquin Rice. Griffin James DeBonis. James Pollard. Mariah Hayes. Megan Isabel Epler Pajarito. Alishka Prokaska. Julian Nobuo Champion. Jacqueline Avalos Rodriguez. Alan Everett Ryder. Daniel Freitas. Ahmed Ibrahim M. Alaba. Wyatt Harris. Olivia Ducharme. Jonas Cedric Barcibal. Mark Reed.
Vantilo. Michelle Kim. Nicholas William Uglo. Anna Beatriz Savin E. Juarez. Shannon Nami Lee. Joel Viafania Carrillo. Michelle Marie Sedgwick. Natalie Juliana Abrego. Bexi Zhang. Alyssa Fava. Sarah Yasaman Karazi. Kayla Marie Jordan. Natalia Zoe Watkins. Christopher Olvera. Sierra Vivian Donahue. Marcus David Creedon. Connor McAuliffe.
Alexis Johnston. Eduardo Gutierrez. Amira Gabriela Flores Banuelos. Josephine Gettle. Elizabeth Ruth Rooks. Randy Lay. Aris Mamia. Brendan Chen. Christian Hessling. Junan Lee. Iris Chow. Charlize Ann Lim. Stephen Liu. Cassidy Carrico Ellis. Angelina Aguilar. Evan Smith. Sebastian Gonzalez. Amelia McKee. Isabella Clugin. James Schmiga. Erica Halsey. Sebastian Croft. Matthew Hesbelt.
Sophia Yasmin Sani. Tracy Thornbury. Tatiana Messerschmidt. Joy Anderson. Shannon Connor Marr. Katie Hensley. Brandon Ordonez. Isabel Flieger. Esmeralda Guadalupe Rangel Hernandez. Kunga Sagar. Phoenix Avare Laudermilk. Serena Margaret Casey Jones. Savannah Smiles Moran. Grace Coleman Vineyard. Marissa Diama Perez. Taylor Melissa Harding Knapp. Emilio Sebastian Gonzalez Luke. Galilea Garcia. Samuel Posner. Scott Vollen. Matthew Topacio. Monica M. Milani. Julio Cesar Flores. Nicola Sulbai Shanks.
Heinrich Schultz. Jerry Wu. William Mulry. Delaney Stewart. Quinn Patrick Herndon. Quinn Patrick Herndon. Madison Stowe. Manuel Lara Acevedo. Thomas James Meyer. Sonia Ontiveros. Gerardo Angeles. Elizabeth Nancy Stedden. Finn August Ferreira. Bianca Mariko Dutzen. Sophie Hannah Phillips. Sydney Maria Stewart. Lila Elena Mandros Bell. Vivian Saab Gallego. Everett Dean Malalot. Jordan Haley Lincoln.
Arthur Matthew Von Ronsky. Jesus Alejandro Najera Pacheco. Bara Mudita. Alexander Rodier. Humberto de Paulus Calusa. Gabriela Raven Gomez Angers. Sydney Mariah Beck. Alexandra Hernandez. Yulia Muschinina. Bernard. Jasmine Williams. Island Via. Sinead Alexandra Bope. Taylor Brandy. Malvi Donkey. Jackson Robert Reeves. Nolan Renshaw. Michael Fralick.
Sean Leong. Ivan Ramirez. Natalia Elizabeth Gray. Anya Hitrovsky. Neil Goswami. Joseph Finklang. Petra Marcella Elliott. Antonin Laurent. Gaxiola. Maya Love Gondor. Maria Silva. Sophia McCarum. Ruchi Pot. Skylar Olson. Kristen Kincaid Gerard. Abigail Danielle Rosales. Isabella Demetro Maybon. Trini Sin. Fidel Yanis Hernandez. Gomez Valenciana. Blake McMillan Sand. 
Sanchez. Renee Dawn Walder. Amelia Mavrolis. Emily Sanchez Reyes. Delene Aya. Erica Garcia Aceves. Ivan Vasquez. Zachary Allen Chavez Jr. Tatiana Alia Durkin Lewis. Tejas Mrathanjaya Kaladi. Sharath Chandra Yarabati Venkata. graduates accomplished much in their time at UC Santa Cruz and we know the best is yet to come. 
This concludes the Kresge College Class of 2023 Commencement Ceremony. Good luck.